Only drummer in the building. Only drummer in the building. Drama, 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 drama. What you gonna do? Woo. Welcome to the third episode of Only Drummer in the Building, hosted by two ungodly gays in a moment of sanctity. I'm your host, Clinton, and this illustrious mop of lamb's curls is none other than Diego. I don't know what you just call me, but yes, that's me. <laughs> On today's episode, we'll be talking about shitty situations, moments where you want the earth to swallow you whole, the most inventive calculator of the century, and introducing controversy time, where we take your views and decide, well, whether you're a bitch or not only joking, to add a spice of drama. So, Diego, you've been talking all week about this poo calculator. Can you tell me more about it? Yes, this is the biggest invention since bread. I've been thinking so much about this. When you told last week, oh, I don't get paid for cleaning shit. But I realized, oh, you do get paid for taking a shit at work. That is true. A toilet break is paid. So that made me question a lot of things. And I wanted to give answers to people. Mm -hmm. Have you ever wondered how much the Prime Minister or Taylor Swift get paid for shitting? Not really, but then I don't give a shit. Well, now you do, because <laughs> I did this formula, so you have to listen. <laughs> so, if we assume that people spend 10 minutes per day yeah. in the toilet, at the end of the week, it's 50 minutes. Sounds reasonable. So, to make my calculations easy, we're going to say that they spend 12 minutes per day, so that's one hour a week. Okay. We have this person that I never heard before until I did my professional research. It's called Deloitte, the company. Okay. And he is the chief executive. Per year, he's earning three and a half million dollars. That is a whole lot of moolah. Well, but imagine when you find out how much he gets paid for cheating. Tell me. So we do my magical formula. Per sheet, he's getting paid three hundred and fifty four dollars. Okay. Per sheet. Now per we sheet. multiply All right that through the whole year he's getting paid ninety two thousand dollars just for going to the bathroom how do you feel honestly that makes me feel like shit like a cheap one apparently a cheap shit that's that's pretty shocking and like that dirt poor scud that somebody's walked through on the side of the road like the flattest poo the flattest the poo yes but i didn't want to leave you with a bad taste in your mouth so i came up with another person the prime minister he, according to google He's getting paid around six hundred thousand dollars per year, mm -hmm. so each poo is worth sixty dollars. Okay. Every time he shits, sixty dollars. Now, per year, that makes a total amount of fifteen thousand four hundred dollars. So you are worth more than a minister poo. You feeling better? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you should like well. So this is gonna make you feel worse. Like now we have Taylor Swift. Okay. I know She's she not Australian, so she probably doesn't go in the same scope, but we're oh, going to okay. use her uh, finances as an example, right? Yes. So we're imagining that she has a contract that she can go to the bathroom. Okay. And like a normal person. So according to Google, she gets paid a lot per year. A very long number in English. I'm not going to say it. It's on the screen somewhere. So each pool of Taylor Swift, $15,200. Her shit is worth the same as what the Prime Minister <laughs> is for a year. One shit is worth all the shits that the Prime Minister <laughs> do, yes. And per year, she's making almost $4 million, more than the salary of the richest person <laughs> oh my God. in Australia. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? This is, it's disgusting. Yeah. It, like, even if uh, this shit were literal, like, <laughs> oh my God, it's yes. just crazy. So that's making me think, should we all go to HR? And say, HR lady, HR man, why am I worth less than a poo? I am worth more than shit. Yes, I need mm, to be respected. Yes. I'm worth more, more, more than, than shit. Yes. <laughs> Call me a golden shit if you need to, but I'm still <laughs> worth more than shit. Yes. <laughs> Everyone, let's make this a thing and let's get what we deserve. A revolution, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on a more stimulating <laughs> topic, uh, have you ever been in a situation that was rather shitty for you? Well, shitty, embarrassing all the time, like even this morning. I went to the gym. Hmm. Once a week, I tried to go. But anyway, I finally went, took the strength. I checked the timetable online, but they lied to me. I wanted to go to a specific class that you have like a heat 
training with weights, yeah, the full body. But I get there and I feel like very old ladies, everyone wearing kind mm-hmm. of like dancing outfits that you can. <laughs> so what type of uh, class was it actually? It, I don't know what it was called, but it was like an aerobic dancing rhythm. Do your thing there. And for those of you who know Diego, he does not have rhythm. I don't have rhythm. I don't have flexibility. But I was, okay, I'm here. I'm not going to escape. Like, ah, I am too scared. I was, if an 80-year-old lady can do this, I can as well. It reminds me of that old Domio ad. Remember if anybody's seen it in Australia? If my daughter can do it, then so can I. Exactly. <laughs> if an old lady can do it, I can as well. Let me tell you, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. After two minutes, people were jumping. I was on the floor. People were going to the left. I was going backwards. There was a column in the middle. I hit that column so many times. Oh. I could hear like the lady behind me like laughing <laughs> all the, the whole class. It was a bit pathetic. I'm not stepping back into that class. So that's my intake, my wisdom that I'm sharing with you today is if you're in a situation that you don't think that you want to be in there, just leave. Leave the room, go out. You don't need to face Take everything as a challenge. I would say depends on the situation because some things you should challenge yourself to overcome your fears. It doesn't sound like you've been overcoming your fears of old ladies. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. There are challenges in life that you don't need to take. So I think we're always trying. I, there is a challenge. I have to be strong. No, sometimes just give up. Yeah. Go to another class. <laughs> Run away from the old ladies. Uh, yes, they are mean. They were laughing. <laughs> Have you been in any situation recently? I feel like my shitty situation is a little bit more literal. So when we were in Thailand for our honeymoon, uh, we were in Bangkok. We had gone out to this amazing cafe, had these beautiful waffles, and we had so much food in Bangkok, really, didn't we? Yeah, we just went there to eat, to be honest. I don't remember (laughs) anything else but eating. We did so much more. Did we? Uh, I just remember. We did, but never mind. Uh, so uh, we were out, uh, we'd gone for this drink and we just ordered a liter of sangria. We we're about to watch this show. And I said to Diego, I'm like, oh, my stomach does not feel right. And I was like, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. So I go to the men's bathroom and they only had urinals. And I was like, oh no, oh no. And our hotel was about, what, 10 minutes walk away? Did it cross your mind to use the urinal as a... Briefly, but <laughs> I, I was like, absolutely not. You have a modicum of decorum. No. So I was like, quick, I've got to run. I've got to run. And Diego was like, oh, what do you want me to come with you? I can't drink the sangria this fast. And I'm like, just, I'll, I'll text you when I'm there. But I was only on Wi-Fi. You had the uh, SIM card. So I'm running, I'm running. I've got the, the sweats. I'm like, oh no, I'm seeing drains in the street thinking I'm literally going to have to pull my pants down and shit over these drains. Like, that is how bad it was. Oh, because that's more the decorum than <laughs> shitting in the urinal. That makes sense. There was no toilet paper though. What was I supposed to do? Wash my ass in the sink? In the drainage? <laughs> what were you going to do? Oh, that's so true. Oh my God. Yes, no, I think you don't think things. I did not think about that. So I'm like sweating profusely. I'm like doing those breaths where it's like, <laughs> like a bloody pregnant lady. And then uh, I'm walking into the hotel and to the, give birth to you, <laughs> and to give birth to the food baby. And then I literally just got into the room, shut the door, couldn't turn the lights on because I couldn't even work that function at the time. And it was bad. It was bad. Let me tell you. Yeah, no, I remember. In the meantime, I was there <laughs> alone with. It was the busy street in the world. Like everyone looking at me. Like, what is this person doing here by alone? And I remember when you came back after one hour, you was you were like, "Oh, I was so quick! Oh my god, it was not that far away. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost dead of boredom." It, to be fair, it was probably ten minutes walk away, and then uh, I was gone for about twenty minutes because I had to take my um, like gastro tablet too, which was just horrible. But Thai tummy, uh, barley belly, Thai tummy. If you've eaten uh, Asian street uh, street food then you'll know exactly what I mean. No, I was fine. I was absolutely fine. It's you because you eat everything that they put in front of you. You don't ask. You believe that it's good. Sometimes things look dodgy and you have to decline. Did I have pork around that time? though? Yes. Yeah, I feel like uh, it was the pork. Yeah, it looks suspicious at pork. I remember. I thought of it. 
He just didn't think to tell me until after I'd consumed it. <laughs> like, if you listen to me. Like... Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. True, true. <laughs> um, is there another moment where you have felt like you literally wanted the earth to swallow you whole? I have, like, so many embarrassing moments in my life that my brain just put them, like, forget about this, Diego. That's... Otherwise, you cannot keep on with your life. It's the trauma. <laughs> it's the trauma. Like, I'm, like, the most awkward person in the world. I'm always saying inappropriate things to the wrong person. I just had a thought uh, we were walking we used to work together and we were walking in the street this one time and Diego <laughs> farts and I he, cannot remember that it, I don't think it happened he remembered that's why he laughed and it was so loud and uh, I was like Diego there's a person walking behind us and he's like starts laughing and he's like no there's not and I'm like Diego yes there is next thing you know this person <laughs> walked so fast around us it was so awkward I'm killing myself laughing he was like <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have that recollection in my brain. Unfortunately, or there is no, <laughs> there is no evidence to sustain your case. Uh, what I do remember in the same job, I had to go to the bathroom. It was in the other end of the the office, and I was running, running. It seemed like I would never get to the bathroom, and I'm about to get there, and the delivery person came. Oh. And I was not responsible of delivering anything. I was, what I'm supposed to, why am I dealing with this? I don't yeah. want to. But the person, no, no, it's going to be a moment. I need someone, blah, blah, blah. It and I was, who signed. Yeah. doesn't matter who signed, just give me your name. And I was thinking, uh, I'm exploding. Sorry. But I said, okay, I'm Diego. Here in Australia, my name, Diego. People don't understand it. I think it's because you, uh, the D sounds different. And here it's it's stronger. You're like more like Diego, where we draw it out. Yeah. So he was. How do you spell it? I spell it. Oh, with a T. No, not a T. Oh, with a P. Piego. No, I'm not Piego. <laughs> I'm Diego. So like ten minutes, literally fighting with the person. And I was okay. I'm gonna say D. And I started to think, but at the moment I couldn't think of any word to for D words with D. I could have said Dandeli, how is it Dandelion, <laughs> the Decaedrum, or, or what? No, any any word that I could think now, even if it's do, wrong. Do you mean Dandelion and Dodecahedron? <laughs> that one. So a dog. Let's go with dog. Okay, let's be more realistic here. The only word that I came to my mind was Dick, and I yell oh. it out <laughs> like D for Dick. And uh, we can tell what's always on his mind. We're pronouncing no. our D's today, everybody. We've, <laughs> we're going with the P's. We're now with the D's. <laughs> so yeah, the person was white. I think he was scared of me. But at least I could make it to the toilet. So that's the closest experience to a literal shit. To a literal shittering experience. Mm. <laughs> it was close. I was just thinking of like an uncomfortable moment. <clears throat> so I used to work in a bank, as you know. Um, but uh, we used to go uh, walking down this hill to a cafe every day. And th this man uh, was same age as my colleague i was like i'm going to try and set them up like he's told me that he's single uh like just you know perfect they're around the same age let's get them together so i started like encouraging her to talk to him you know broach the topic yeah i remember he broached the topic and bless his heart and he had the, the decency to tell her that he bats for our team not for hers and she said that she will never put uh, her name out in, uh, to anybody again just because of this situation. So I've ruined it all now. Yeah, I remember you were so short. Diego is so obvious. I can feel the presence. It's a spiritual thing because you are all like that, all dramatic. And I was, are you sure? Are you sure? Back then, I didn't think of, oh, do you have a photo or anything? But after that happened, I did ask for a photo. <laughs> and that person was the description of if you look for gay leather daddy or sugar daddy, that photo <laughs> come up. I was clean. Are you kidding me? You thought that this was. Uh, turns out he may have been flirting with me, not her. <laughs> we never know. You have to ask. Uh, <laughs> although, since that time, so there is a nude beach that I go to, and uh, it's typically known for more gay men than, than couples or anything else. And who do I see at that beach with the donger out? <laughs> Hi, did you say hello? I did not. I thankfully <laughs> shake. Other, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we do? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not in there, so uh, I don't know what happens. I definitely did not shake his donger, as you're trying to imply. 
um no but uh, no uh, thankfully he was up one end of the beach i was up the other but i was just like oh this is so awkward <laughs> a moment where i wanted the earth to swallow me whole <laughs> have you met anyone else in the that you know in a new mm, beach not that i've known no but there have been people who like you might see regularly there they strike up a conversation and then you might chat for like i don't know five ten minutes you walk It's actually one of those things that's really liberating. A lot of people don't feel comfortable with it, but it's like, you know, nobody's looking at your body. Are you sure? Because there are some people like me that we're very expressive with the body. <laughs> so, so I feel if I'm talking to someone in the beach like this, <laughs> everything's going to be... Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I don't think people could avoid the eye contact in there. Or I could have about if someone is like this as well, like then. Yeah, yeah. but e even if somebody's glancing at your body, I don't think people are avidly staring at your body. Like, it's not like, oh my God, I am just focused on people's bits. Like, for me, it's just, it's, I've got to a point where it's all just flesh and it doesn't really matter. Like, I can have a conversation. Do I prefer to or not to? Sure, because I prefer to keep to myself. I enjoy my time at the beach by myself. And yeah. So moving to the next subject, we are creating this new section called Controversy Time. Controversy Time. Where we ask you, listeners, to give us your controversial opinions that you maybe are not willing to say in public because it would cause you problems. And we're going to uh, discuss them, put our opinion on them. And is it a really controversial? Ooh. The first answer that we got. I tried to reach back to this person because I didn't understand. What do you mean reach back to them? Are you talking about the, like, this beach reaching like you're talking about before? No, or... no, no. They wrote an answer. Okay. Toilet paper is overrated. Oh, okay. Wow. So I need more context for this answer because I think it's a bit... Not what I was expecting. It's a bit shitty by the sound of it. Um, uh, yeah, well, I think, uh, well, we look back a couple of years ago to COVID. It was the first thing off the shelves. Yes, people are obsessed. It was so dramatic. It's like just because you are going to be in a situation where you're stuck at home, you honestly think you're going to go through like four ginormous packs of uh, toilet paper in one day. That can last a normal family a good solid few months at home i don't go through too much paper but if ever in weird occasions i need to use another toilet i can use like a whole roll uh, because i need to i mummify the toilet oh, because yeah. my cheeks are not gonna be touchy <laughs> <laughs> you somebody know, else's <laughs> you don't know what it's in there and sometimes you enter the bathrooms i don't know how women's bathrooms are but men's bathroom uh, disgusting. Mm, honestly yeah. i'd rather go into a Pig's house, how you call it? A, a pork. Yeah. I'd rather sit there than in some toilet. So I need to do my routine, my ritual. You put a layer, you put another layer, you put another layer. <laughs> uh, mummification, you get out your embalming salts. And <laughs> yeah, no, you need to. But saying that, we are not in COVID anymore. No. So I think it's okay to be minimal, eco-friendly. Yeah. But there are some limits. Well, there are eco-friendly toilet papers now. So... Aren't they on? Huh? No. Hi. No, no. So not all uh, toilet papers are biodegradable. So uh, and uh, there's some that are made out of like recycled papers and things like that, so that you're not constantly just chopping down trees to make toilet paper. Recycled? Oh, okay, not recycled toilet paper. No, it's <laughs> not used. Uh, used toilet paper. <laughs> no, it is recycled paper or newspapers that are uh, used. Um, sometimes they're made out of bamboo as well. So, so you're uh, watching your ass with the news. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be fair, uh, there's not much on there that's worth uh, worth seeing these days. So then we have the next answer that we got. Someone said, I don't want to receive a shit present. Do you think that's being materialistic or you can relate to that? Person? I think that it's being very materialistic. If somebody's gone to the effort of getting you a present, I think the very least you can do is be grateful. Uh, he's not saying, oh, if someone gives me a shitty present, I will refuse it and say fuck off no she's saying she doesn't want to receive it so i agree sometimes you get these presents that you don't know what they mean what is what made you think that are like a red dress do i wear dresses uh, <laughs> <laughs> well he I, has I, been known I, to wear one or two <laughs> no but sometimes they give you these most random things that you will never wear you will never use and the worst is when people 
say, oh my god, I thought of you when I saw this. How? Why? No, I think it's... I'd rather have people not spending money on me mm. than giving me a present that they are just buying because obligation. I think the only thing that I've gone, oh my god, this uh, I thought of you with this, was a card with a llama on it. And I was like, oh, this reminded me of you. The gift was entirely unrelated to llamas, but... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, so I think it's important that people understand that, yeah, I'm still grateful, but I prefer not... Sp don't spend your money on that. Let's go for lunch or whatever. But don't buy me something I that... I do you think that we are coming into this very um, material-centric uh, style world where people put too much emphasis on a present. Um, I think that, it, like you just said, I would rather spend time with people who I don't get to spend time with than give them a gift or receive a gift from them because then it's almost like, okay, I'm just going to use an object. I'm not going to remember who gave it to me. Although uh, my sister d uh, did give us uh, some body wash for Christmas and today we ran out of other body wash and Diego was like, ah, oh, Emma. The rescue. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to uh, a bit awkward that I'm showering my bits and I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's, uh, it's in I'm it. pretty positive that you're not her type. <laughs> no, I'm Gay pretty sure that. I don't like pussy either. <laughs> like, that's not... <laughs> but, uh, let's move on to the next question and the last yeah, one for today. The last one for today. Someone said, Democracy doesn't make sense. Okay. What is your intake on that? What do you understand? I am not really sure what avenue they're coming from. Um, I think it, in some angles, we have now got to like a new democracy where we have elected officials and then we have to rely on them to decide things for us. So for me, I'm not sure that that's like the traditional um, democracy that was created in Athens where people sat around in, uh, in a in circle and voted on things for their entire community. But because we cannot sit all the humans in a circle. Well, but obviously not, but... It doesn't have to be political necessarily, like democracy in a group of friends, you know? Mm. And I was asking more about the context, and I agree with this person. Okay. Because democracy, everyone can vote. Let's make go to the political side of it. Everyone can vote. There are people, they don't know what they're voting. They are like 90 years old, they are voting because, or whatever. There are people that are voting because that person is beautiful. Well, for, are, for example, though, in Australia, uh, we have to vote because it's yeah. a compulsory thing. Yes. So I, I think you're right that sometimes people aren't well informed about who they're yeah. voting for. But then we go into this uh, cycle where it's two party preferred anyway. So it doesn't actually mean that the person who you're voting for is going to end up on top well but if everyone is voting random shit that's the problem people are not educated i have friends that they're voting for a party right mm. and i ask oh where are you voting for that party because i know you and you are against this this and that and that's the opposite and they're oh i didn't know or people My don't gosh. know which laws are they're voting for so i think people that they're not informed or they don't have like are voting and, yeah. and let's say Tomorrow there is a election, right? Someone has been like 20 years in a coma. They wake up and they have to go to vote. How, how do they know what, you know what I mean? Would they have to vote? That's the question. Well, but they have the, the right to vote. So if they wanted yeah, to vote, they true. vote. And yeah, I think sometimes maybe it, it should be different how it works. I'm not saying that I want a Diegocracy. I think what you're actually saying is sometimes you need to think about shit. Yes. Hey. Well done. So, yes, I think the concept is right, but the execution needs perfection. It's shitty. Which was similar to our topic today. <laughs> <laughs> we are signing off for today. Thank you for listening, for your ongoing support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on, uh, what do we have again? Instagram, YouTube. Spotify, and I think we're on Apple. It's all in the description. You can find it. Just help us reach the 100 followers. We're really close. We are very close. On Thank Instagram. you so much for everybody yes. who's been supporting us. Yes, we had so much fun with this. Bye. Let's see you next week.